Hey girly girls and welcome back to TaylorMade Beauty Room. Now today's video is going to be a mixed bag of tricks. I'm going to first start off the video with a little bit of a combined haul and by a combined haul what I mean is I'll be showing you some items that I've purchased for myself and items that have also been purchased for me by my daughter for Mother's Day. Now the second part of the video will be my colourful bag collection and I'll be showing you a selection of really colourful, vibrant bags. Now this vid video, or this part of the video should I say, was actually inspired by Chelsea from Chelsea's Closet. Now Chelsea is another YouTuber and I really love her content. She's got a really fun personality. When I saw her colourful bags collection, it made me want to do something similar. So I, of course I had to give credit where credit is due. So without further ado, let's roll right in. Okay, so I'm going to start off my haul with this. Now let me pronounce it correctly, niacinamide, because I believe I've done a video on niacinamide products and I was pronouncing it wrong previously. Um, I decided to purchase this mask for myself because my daughter's a big fan of these types of products. I did purchase this from Primark. I'm not really sure of the price. If I find the price out, I'll link it on the screen or somewhere below. But yeah, the, these types of products are really, really good for, good for the skin. So yes, that's item number one of my haul. Now this little cute thing here, when I saw the bag, I knew obviously that it was going to be jewellery because Lovisa is a jewellery brand in the UK. I don't know if it's a jewellery brand elsewhere. And my daughter purchased me this gorgeous little bangle. Now, what's clever about this bangle is it looks like you actually have three bangles on. Let me just put it on and show you. Can you see that? Really, really glistening, really blingy. I think it's so, so cute. And I think it was so sweet of her to purchase that for me. It really, really is cute. I've really, really quite overwhelmed with my um, Mother's Day's gifts this year. I think my kids really went all out a little bit. Another item that was purchased for me. Now, this came from TK Maxx. Um, and again, my, it was my daughter who was the instigator of this particular product. And it is a Juicy Couture lip gloss now juicy couture is a brand that the only um juicy couture items that i actually possess are um you know like the velour tracksuits which were very very um popular way back when I, I believe it might have been paris hilton that made them quite popular back in the day but they're the only items i've ever really purchased from juicy my daughter's into the bags but you know um i've never really purchased any of these items but she did purchase me this lip gloss and you know what the camera's not actually picking up how lovely this colour is but I can assure you it is such such a nice colour and it kind of gives me a bit of the Jeffree Star vibes with the kind of gem on the top but I think it is absolutely gorgeous packaging and it suits my beauty room down to a T so I'm very very pleased to have received that gift there. So yeah, let me pop that in my bag. Now then, if you've seen one of if you've seen one of my videos previously when I did about Mother's Day's gift, I did um actually show you this item in it because my daughter actually gave it to me just before Mother's Day, just so I could add it to um, my video because I will show you gifts that I've purchased for my mum and sort of like trying to give you some gift ideas for Mother's Day. But she did actually um, already give this to me and you've already seen this, but I just thought I'd show it to you again. Look at that. I just love the little zipper, the heart zipper. And again, pink and brown and gold. My, one of my favourite colour combinations. And of course, there is the powder. Really nice. Or bronzer, should I? Is it a bronzer? Yes, it is actually a limited ed edition bronzer. So let me open that up again and show you that again. Smells lovely. Mm, smells just like cocoa. 
and it also came with a lip injection uh, lip gloss so yeah really really cute packaging as always I would expect no less from Too Faced so yes I did already have this one but I didn't realize that my daughter had managed to get me another palette and I'm not sure if this one's a limited edition one or not but I do know I really did struggle to get this palette myself so um, let me open it up for you so you can have a look inside most of you've probably seen this um, palette before from various other YouTubers because, like I said, it was a really, really popular pa palette when it came out. But I do think that in the UK we are slightly behind on production. We do tend to receive Too Faced items later than, say, for example, the States or Canada. But yeah, look at that. Now, the thing I absolutely love about this palette is the colours. I mean, look at those colours. If you're new to my channel, you probably won't be aware, but the colours in this palette are my dream colours. I absolutely adore browns, golds, plums, greens. All of these colours really do complement brown eyes. So I was very, very, very happy to receive this palette. So thank you very much to my kids. And particularly my daughter who would have influenced my son <laughs> in buying me a lot of makeup um, so yeah so that's that one now then this item here which came from tk Matt's, another tk Matt's item is something i absolutely was not expecting to get now this is uh well you could use it as for what you wanted to I will more than likely be using this as a makeup pouch. Oh, it's such quality. This is from DKNY, Donna Karen, New York. I have decided to bling it up a little bit with a charm that I purchased for three pounds at the range. But yeah, this is, it. you know, when I almost cried when um, I saw this because it was such good quality. Let me show you the zipper, the branding on the zipper. Really, really, really good quality very nicely stitched i don't know if you can see that the bag is just stuffed just got a lot of filling in it just to pad it out a little bit but honestly it, it, it's just so soft um inside there is a zipper pocket i don't know if you can see that there there's actually a zip in there but the biggest thing about this for me is the space I love it. So much stuff in here. And, you know, it's even a, a nice item to have for storage because I have quite a small beauty room. Sometimes I do feel that I have too much stuff out on display. And sometimes if I want to remove a few items just to make it look a bit neater, it is nice to have something like this where you can store lots of items. As you can see, it's quite wide. That's the back. Obviously, the branding is on the front, but I just think this is a really good quality product. And at the moment, I'm absolutely really in love with DKNY. You need to really check out my DKNY bags, old school throwback bags video that I did recently. Um, and I've kind of just fallen in love with the brand again, particularly after I saw this next item. Let me just get you this. So, I went to TK Maxx recently looking for some, I think I was looking for some sliders for my daughter. In fact, yes, it was. I, I, I was looking for some sliders and I did manage to purchase some for her. But whilst I was there, I saw these. Let me open it up for you to show you what's inside. So I thought I'd do a small unboxing on camera for you. Guys, guys, will you please check this out? Do you not think that they are absolutely gorgeous? Fantastic. As soon as I saw these, I was like, oh my God, oh my God. So then I proceeded to run around TK Maxx to um, try and find these in my size. And of course, I'm going everywhere. I couldn't find them. 
so then I thought let, let me go one size smaller because I've got to have these but the size smaller was just too small so in the end um, the lady said to me oh you do know that you can order them online I said yes I do know that but these are on special offer and I, I'm not sure if they'll be on offer online so she says just you know just have a quick look so I did I sat down put all my bags down put all my shopping down and I went and looked online and lo and behold I did find them in my size and they were also on sale so these actually cost me 44.99 which I really do think is a bargain because they are leather and they're just so gorgeous just look at the detailing and yeah it's quite funny because I did actually want something a little bit more understated I actually wanted some um Nike dunks but I wanted the black Nike dunks you know you get the um night dunk pandas in white with the black trim well i wanted it, it all black with a white trim um because it was a little bit more understated but then i saw these and then i thought you know what forget understatement and yeah you, you don't even need to unlace them you can zip them up and zip them down and off you go but i just really wanted to share those with you because i think they are gorgeous okay so let's get on to the second part of my video which is my colorful bags let me add this bag to the mix so yeah um contrary to popular belief uh, not all of my bags are actually pink in fact i recently did a what's in my little cute black bags edition of what's in my bag video um so i do have bags of other colors but obviously my display bags are all pink because i just think they look so nice in my beauty room and this first bag that i'm going to show you is a bag which you would have seen on a previous video that i purchased from shopping princess um it's a really really cute bag it is sort of like inspired by the chanel reissue the only difference that i can see really is the, the strap this has got more like a normal chanel flat bag type of chain the traditional chain with the leather threaded through Whereas the Chanel reissue has a sort of twisted chain um, uh, handle. But yeah, I thought this bag was really, really cute. It feels so nice and luxurious and it does actually feel like lambskin. I don't believe it is real lambskin, but it does feel like lambskin because I do have a lambskin Chanel bag. So yes, yeah, so that was my first colourful bag, albeit pink. <laughs> okay so my next bag this is quite an old bag actually i've had this for quite a long time and i did purchase this bag as part of a set from karen millen i think you can see the branding along there it is a red satin bag it is a gorgeous bag and i actually had the shoes to go with this bag and also i had the in fact i think they're they're the um, stiletto, these go on the bottom of your stilettos, they're, they're spare ones. Um, not that I wore them very much, mind you, because they were so high, it was difficult to walk in. And I did actually have the full set. It is a magnetic closure, as you probably just heard. Um, I did have the shoes to go with this, and I also had um, the red dress to go with it too beautiful set um absolutely gorgeous really vibrant red this is a, this well the whole outfit in fact is um an outfit that you would wear if you really really want to grab some attention in fact i'm thinking about doing a bag set collection video because like i said i've got the whole set i've got the shoes i've got the um handbag i've got the dress and i've got some other bags where i've got other sets as well so that's actually quite a nice video that i'm thinking about doing soon so yeah so that's another one of my colorful bags okay so i oh let me get one of these from behind so i do have a, another red bag it isn't a vibrant red but it is a really cute bag nonetheless now this I think I purchased this in my DKNY era <laughs> um, from a shop called H&M. Um, I'm not sure if H&M is still open in the UK or not. Um, um, but I do know that these types of bags were really, really popular for going out and dancing and clubbing. And yeah, so th this bag really does take me back 
to to that kind of era i think i had some shoes that actually matched this bag at one point as well but I, d I don't know where they are now and speaking of red bags i've just looked across and seen another red bag that i want to share with you just bear with me a second okay so now i've found two really old blasts from the past now these bags have definitely seen better days dolce and gabbana bags now they're full of pen marks and makeup marks to be fair these bags absolutely need throwing away now but i just wanted to show you how my bag style has evolved <laughs> from um these plastic shopping style bags um yeah i thought i'd show you that because i think it's so funny because i just found them the other day when i was hunting through my dk and y collection so yeah there's some really old a little bit tattered and worse for wear bags that i thought i'd quickly show you there okay so behind these two very very bright colored bags i do have this bag it's absolutely gorgeous now this bag although it looks pink on camera it is more of a kind of salmon colored bag and it's very very cute very very nice um don't really tend to wear this a lot not to, if i'm being absolutely honest because it's so small it doesn't really hold a lot so it's not as practical as most of my other bags but yeah i just thought i'd bring it out just to show you another bag of color okay and i've saved the best for last these are my two favorite colorful bags they're in the bright green and the bright yellow in fact to be fair these bags really do belong to my daughter she asked me for these bags to go with her jordan fours she had some black and yellow ones and she was desperate to have this bag in yellow so i did purchase this for her and then also this bag um i believe she wanted this bag for an outfit but i also wanted the bag for the outfit and although this one technically speaking is my bag you know it does live in my daughter's room because it just goes so nicely with her collection she has quite a collection of these bags she has them in black and also in pink as well as do i um so yeah i just thought i'd show you these bags because i think these are really definitely giving off a summer kind of vibe i think they're very vibrant and they're items that you would definitely want to go out and show out in so yeah that's pretty much it for my haul galore and my um colorful bags uh, collection again thanks to chelsea's closet for the inspiration on the colorful bags if you like this video please do not hesitate to give it a big thumbs up please subscribe if you've not done so already but for now ta for now